if it's not a false prophecy, it means it's metaphorical. Do you agree? Well, no. I'm, I'm going to let you make your judgment now. No. It's either it's a false prophecy or it's, it's metaphorical. It's not a prophecy. But look, Under any the, now you're just, uh, honestly, now you're just saying your opinion, no, right? No. You're not dealing with the text. You brought to me. You brought to me a we verse. We know that he fought, married, uh, he fought against the tribes of uh, in Medina, uh, Jewish tribes. We know that. Did I show you where it says he will fight against his enemies? Did I show you or not? Don't worry about where, where he will put his enemies to shame? Did I show you or not? Did I show you where it says he will be like a man of war? Yes, in 13, he shall prevail against his enemy. Not only that, you can read 17. Read 17. They shall be turned back, they shall be greatly ashamed. Oh, people of Kedar, which, which exactly Prophet Muhammad did. So, now, now, this is a man who will fight against his enemies. And that was not Jesus, because he never met either worshippers who will fought with them. Okay. Clearly, this was Prophet Muhammad. But you don't, look, I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you. I'll be, look, I'll be honest Let with you. Let me ask you a question. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Does God change okay. his mind, his thoughts? Uh, we don't know the thought of what God. If he told us, it? you mean if he told us something, he told us his thought and he said he's not going to change it. Of course he's not going to change it. If he said he's not going to change okay. it. What was the original day of worship? Original day of worship? Of worship. Are you talking about Jewish people? Sabbath? Sabbath, okay. Yeah. Now, what is your holiday? Our holiday is Friday. Okay, so he changed one. Can I answer? Okay. Can I answer? First, the first point, no, if you go to another know, point. Let, let me speak but, because you know what where I'm going. Look, look, you made one point, right? Do you want me to deal with it? Then you can give me the second point. That's all right? Yes. Okay. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا جُعِلَ السَّبْتُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ اخْتُلِفُوا فِي Allah have made the Sabbath on those who deferred upon it. The Sabbath was only for the Jews. We're not for everyone. If you meet the Jews today, do you know what they're going to tell you? Yes. What? They believe the Sabbath is only for them. Uh, the Jews will tell me the Sabbath is only for us. Step by step. Thank you. That's my, that's my point. So we're saying that that was the commandment for the Jews, not for the whole entire world. When God sent another prophet to bring a new law, a new Torah that God speaks about, he brought a new law and he has, you have a new day. But you just said that God do not change his thoughts. No. For do you remember the what? Lord, I change not, step. therefore the sons of Jacob are not concerned. God doesn't this change, not, not, his, not his words. Now you're mixing two things. You say God does not change, his nature doesn't change. Well, but can you, can you limit? Neither changes his sure. commandments. You're not allowing me to finish, right? Okay. Unless you show me where God says I don't change my commandments, which is impossible, because, because you, have, you have change of commandments in your, your religion, Change of well, well, step by step, yes, where, where you will be arguing against yourself. No, no, so, look, step by step, let me finish. Can you let me finish? Sunday, Can you let me finish? Good thing. No, I'm not talking about that only. I'm talking about you said God brought a new commandment that will love one another. Did He change His mind? Look, things don't work this way. There is something which we call progressive revelation. Okay. There was a commandment of the Jewish, Jewish people. God gave a commandment for those Jewish people. Not for the whole entire world. That's why Jesus said, I have been sent to the Israelites. You're trying to apply the roles of the Israelites in the Old Testament to the whole entire world. But no one says that. Even the Jewish people will tell you, our laws is not for everyone. It's for us. So we agree with that. That was the burdens. Do you know Prophet Allah says something beautiful in the Quran? Do you know what he says? He says he's sending this Prophet, you know, to do what? To lift up the burdens that are on the Jews. I have your questions about Allah. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Can I ask you You're not you to me, though. <laughs> Allah okay. and his message, this okay. partnership between Allah and Can his Can I ask you a message. question about you asking a question? What will you get from you if you asking that question? Honestly. As you want to know about Christianity, I want to know about Islam. Now, but first question is, who can is I, the can I say eyewitness of your prophet sure. in the cave of Hiram? Uh, Humans, not... Can I answer? Yes. Okay. Uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab, which is a companion prophet Muhammad narrated, where he and other companions were sitting down, and Angel Gabriel came and gave Prophet Muhammad commandments. They in a hadith, him. they, they, the say, they say him eye by eye. They said they came a man, he came in a man form, Angel Gabriel. They said a man who has no traveling traces. And in the deserts of Arabia, if you travel, my friend, you will be all dust everywhere. Okay. They said I came a man with a white... Can you give me the reference of this? Can I finish it first? Did I give you the reference of it? Okay. A man with white cloth, black, dark hair, no traces of travel, and he came and he gave us the commandments of, of Islam. The five pillars, the six articles of faith, and what we refer to as Ihsan. This is a very famous tradition. Now let me give it to you. Can I give it to you? Give me the... Sure. Now, now you want to learn? I'm going to give you references. Okay, sure. Who saw Prophet Muhammad? Let me give you. Which is something that often people don't mention for some reason. Okay. Uh, 
Komm. So will you accept now that there is eyewitnesses when I show you? Because obviously I'm going to show you. Show me. Yeah, I will. Okay. But hopefully, hopefully we get somewhere. Give me the source. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting the source for you. Do you, do you? No, before I seek, let's, let me first give you, give you the. Before you make a point where, where I cannot answer the point, which is very, will be very, very not good to do for you, to be honest, right? So allow me first to give you the point, then you can, you can do. Obviously, there is a lot of. Obviously, there is a. Sorry, I'm letting you wait for a while. Oh, in between, you see? Yeah, 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 I found it, I found it here. Yeah, give me, no, 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 don't tell me in between. I, I have it here. Okay. We don't want in-betweens for now. We want to deal with our point first. Okay, uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, okay. Book of Iman, uh, Hadith number 43. Book two, Hadith number 43. Uh, it's Sunnah.com. Sorry? Well, what's the website? It's Sunnah. Sunnah.com, yeah, yeah. Is here, you want to you see from uh, Sunnah.com? I have it here. You can read the English if you want. So, chapter. The asking of Angel Jibril uh, from Prophet so Souls about Iman. Ihsan and Islam. Islam. Well, what, why is this the bracelet between? One day, while I was, Abu Huraira is narrating. Yes. Umar ibn Khattab narrated as well. So we have more people now. A lot of people are sitting down. Was sitting in the company of some people, the angel Gabriel come and asked, what is faith? Now, you asked me, for people who saw Prophet Muhammad, but it doesn't stop there. His wife Aisha saw, multiple people show. Okay. Okay, now, there is people who saw Prophet Muhammad get a revelation. Well, now, will you accept him as a prophet? No. I know. So why are you asking no. about it? That's why See, my question okay. was to you, what's the point? It's, you accept, you agree that everything except God is created and only him is a creation. Only him is the creator, you mean? Yeah, and everything else is created. Uh, you mean created from nothing? Well, because this is a creation. Every single thing that exists except God is created. Yeah. Obviously, he's the only yeah, creator. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh, yeah, these gods are telling you to face a created thing and worship. Can you show me where? Yes. But, but before you get very hyped up on it, I will ask you a question afterwards because you asked two now, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead. No, I want you first to ask. I will allow you to finish. I don't mind. And you're a very, you're a fair. Go. I'll tell you this. You're a fair gentleman. So I'll be fair with you as well. Go ahead. And from wherever you go, mm. and again, present for prayer, mm. turn your eyes toward Masjid Al Haram, which, by the way, means Haram, the unclean Masjid. Okay. You gonna tell me about Arabic? Seriously, you you gonna tell me about Arabic now? What Haram means? You, Seriously, bro. Maybe turn your eyes toward it. it. You know what Haram it means? means? It means holy. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Now, is Mecca a created thing? Hmm? Mecca, the city of Mecca, is created or, or is creation? It's created, of course. Why do you say it's a city to, to worship? Because when we pray, we have unity in our prayer of worship. If I'm praying here, still you face a do you ask me a question? Yes. You want me to, uh, to yes. answer it? Thank you very much. Okay. That place of worship that we worship, Allah told us that this is His house on earth, His representation on earth. Allah said that He made, uh, when He created Adam, He ordered him to, be, to build the first house. That first house we believe is the Kaaba in Mecca. We believe Abraham have built the commandment, have built the pillars of Kaaba on the foundations of, of, uh, of Adam. And the Kaaba we have today, we believe is a representation of God's house on earth. But we don't mean God's house that God lives in it. It means that God created it, God owns it. Now, Allah commanded us to have unity in our worship by step by step. To have unity in our worship by directing ourselves there. We don't worship the Kaaba. We don't say. Yet you face it. You are look. Yet you face it. If I face, when you pray, when you pray, if you pray right now and you face this way, are you facing the tree? Do you worship the tree? Well, this is a very absurd remember, argument, bro. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. 
Okay, go ahead. You asked me at the beginning whether I'm Orthodox. Or oh, he, uh, my friend asked you, but yeah, okay. yeah, 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 sure. And now, you said you're a new, said, no. a new kind of... Uh, new Protestant yeah, belief. Yeah. Why do I, uh, I left my forefathers religion, or let's say faith, because I don't like the word religion. Hmm. Because they have the same uh, traditions like most of us to worship things that are made by humans. Do, like you know, do you know, in, like Islam, in Islam, what you just said is the most important commandment in Islam. Do you know that? Not to worship anything other than Allah. Well, yet you face a created thing. Now, what, this is a distinction you're making, my brother. You say facing something is worshipping it. No. Can you show me where Allah says worship the Kaaba? Well, he, it's his he face. Says to face it. oh, it's he facing same as worshiping. As long as it's a created. Do you pray? Yes, of Where do you face? I don't face. I don't think about this. You ha oh, thank you. You don't think, no, but when you pray, you still face something. That's something that you're facing. The yeah, Instagram. but I'm not mindful. I don't. I step don't do it as a purpose. I step by step. Yeah, we don't do as well. When you are commanded. Can you allow me to finish? You not. You don't allow me to you make a point. You, you deny your, your book. You don't allow me. You don't allow me to finish. I said my book said face. Did not say worship. But you, you are trying to make an excuse of that. Look, I said to you, wherever you're going to worship God, you're going to face something. Unless you have the intention that you're worshiping that thing, this is the blasphemy. If you can show me where Allah says worship, not face. Do not play with words. No, no, no. Do not play with words. Play. Okay. No, I will show I you where he says only worship him. Show me where he says worship. No. Now let me show you. Now let me show you where he says only worship him. And he never said worship anything else. Now you're claiming he said worship. You have to show me where he said worship. No, don't no. put your own words on our, our book. I said you. So we don't worship unless said you show me where he says worship. To face. This is what yeah, face that worship. Thank you. Yeah, well, yes, we face the Kaaba, but we don't worship it. Well, but however, whenever you go for prayer, turn your face toward Masjid al Haram. Mm. Can I show you a verse now? For prayer. Okay, thank you. Can I show you a verse now? Yeah. Do you, can, I want to read from your, 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 because it will be funny and I want you to read Quran. it. Yeah, can I use it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Now, now, now let's, let's read. That, this would be very, very, very funny, I believe. Okay. And I want you to be, to be, to, uh, to, to pay close Attention. Attention to what I'm going to show you, yeah? Okay. As much as you can, yeah? Okay. Brace yourself for this, yeah? Okay. Can you read? Loud voice, the please. The foolish among the people will say. Can you repeat? The foolish. The foolish? Among the people will say. Yeah. What has turned them away from their Qibla? Direction of prayer. Which the Qibla is the black spot. Oh, the foolish will say. Now continue reading. Which they used to face. Yes. Say, continue. Say yeah. to Allah belongs the East and the West. Can you repeat that? Say to Allah belongs the East and the West. Thank you. Finish reading. He guides whom he wills to a straight path. What does that mean? That, that is a clear cut refutation of what you said. Allah tells us wherever you face, Allah is there. He says, to Allah belongs east. No, He also says wherever you face yourselves, yourselves, Allah is there. Now, Allah is clearly saying we're not worshipping Him. Now, me answering your questions, you have to allow me to ask you questions. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Please. We on this. Uh, please. Okay. Now, I'll give you two questions in, in return of two questions. Is Jesus equal to the Father? Okay. What does equal mean? Same. The, exactly the same attribute. Okay. So, is God all powerful? Indeed. Was Jesus all powerful? Indeed. Okay. Is God immortal? Doesn't die? Yes. Indeed. Did Jesus die? Yes. God. Therefore, he is not God. He is not equal to God. Number two. A step by step, I'm making a few points. Does God know everything? Is he all knowing? Yeah, of course. Was Jesus all knowing? Uh, no. In his human form. Okay. He was not. He was yeah, not equal. To tell us he, no. Jesus. No. He said he doesn't know. Which means he is not equal. Okay, let me ask another question. Um, is God independent? Was Jesus independent? No, he was dependent on food. He was dependent on his mother when he was a baby. He was dependent on, on so many things in life, on air to breathe, to walk. Okay, uh, can anyone kill God? No. Oh, was Jesus killed by men? He died on the cross. Okay, if Jesus was killed by men, therefore Jesus is not God because he doesn't have the attributes of God. Okay, is anyone greater than God? No. He's the creator. Oh, was Jesus equal to, to the Father in greatness? Yes. 
Jesus says the Father is greater than I in the Gospel of John. Step by step, if you allow me to finish. We are one. Allow me to finish. When he says the Father is greater than I, he shows that, when he says also the Father is greater than all, which I showed you, proves that he is not equal to the Father. Now, what we have here is something very simple. Father, which is complete in attributes, perfect, essential. And we have a man. You say you don't want to worship creation and you worship creation, which is Jesus. Someone who is not perfect, who is not equal to his father and who worshipped his own father. When Jesus put his face on the floor, who did he worship? Well, that's an illustration. Who did he worship? Okay, let me just answer. Go ahead. He never really needed to That's your pray. claim, not his claim. He never said this I don't need my, to pray. This is not biblical, this is my belief. Sure, so I don't have to accept it. Okay. Of course we don't. Unless it's biblical, uh, then we have uh, something to talk about. His sacrifice is for the human race redemption. Because this, that was the only way to... Do you agree with me that's a different topic? My question? Because I answer your question when you ask me my questions, right? Okay. I give you exact answers. Now, my question is clear. Jesus was not all-knowing, was not all-powerful, was not immortal. He died. Yeah. And God, Father is greater than him. Yes. And that's proof that he's not God. Well, it doesn't prove anything. How? I'll tell you if why. he's less than God, why you worship him? No, he's God. And then, I, I, I mean, just I'll showed you God. that he's less than the yes. Father. You just uh, quote the scripture and mm. I will also do likewise. Go ahead. But deal with my points, please, yeah? Knowledge? Come unto us in mm. the book of Isaiah chapter. When Jesus I was not six. alive there. He was a but I can read it, I can read it, I can read it, I know it. And to us a child is born, sure. and to us a son is given. Mm -hmm. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Okay. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Stop there. Mighty God. Stop there. Okay. Can you show me where Jesus is called Wonderful Counselor? Ever? Even once? It doesn't matter. It okay. doesn't matter anything to me. Look, look. if I say the in the future... God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Can I answer? Okay, when okay. you finish, tell me. Yeah. Yes. When you finish, the tell everlasting me. everlasting Father. When you finish, Would tell you me. Would you like to describe me the word everlasting, please? Can I answer? Yes. Okay, sure. You made a quotation. You didn't deal with my questions. Because my question, as I said to you, and that's, that's not fair. You were being fair, but now you're not being fair. I'm trying to, step, I'm step trying by step. to answer it through the yeah, scripture. But I step, I step by step. My questions were about knowledge. What about immortality? What about independency? What about specific things when it comes to God? We're not general questions. You went to a general verse, but let me answer that general verse. It says someone will be born in the future, and how do we know that who's that person? He will be called these names. Now I want you to show me where Jesus. Step, can you allow me to finish? Yeah. Where was Jesus called any of these names? Where was Jesus called Everlasting Father, which you love? Where was he called Wonderful Counselor? Where was he called Prince of Peace? He said, "I did not come for peace." Can you show me where Jesus was called any of these names? Actually, this verse is proof that he's not talking about him. Because he was never called any of these names. Can you show me where he's called? In the New Testament, one time. He is the son of the living God. That will come. Look, sure. sure. Look, listen. Do you know Adam was the son of the living God? Uh, Do you know David was the son of the living no, God? Abraham no, was the son of the Do you know you are the son of the living no, God? No, I'm not. Can I show you the verse? Let, let me just... Uh, I know, I know the uh, Okay, let so it says, Blessed be the peacemakers. Let, let, but they shall be called the sons of God. Let, I know the Beatitudes sure. of the Almighty sure. chapter 5, sure. 6 and 7. Sure. But you don't look, teach me the scripture. Look, I'm not no. teaching you anything. I'm telling let you... Let me just tell you something because mm. you don't like, allow me to speak. Let me just show, tell you that... But it was my turn, that's why. <laughs> it was my turn, isn't it? But look, Adam, I'm, I'm, I'm done. The between Adam yeah. and Jesus. No, that was not my question. No, no, no. Let me... Because you just... Why are you going there? Now we're going everywhere. You just mentioned Adam. Look, I be, Why you mentioned Adam? I'll be, yes. be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Yes. Look, I, when I ask questions, when someone asks me questions, I deal directly with the questions. I don't play. Yes. I don't play. Your, step by step. You said you just mentioned Adam. I step by step. Can I tell you why? Why? Okay. You said... I answered your question. I said, how do we know him? According to the verse, he has to be called these names. That's my main point. Let's deal with that. He was not called any of these names, therefore it cannot be Jesus because he was never named any of this. You said to me, oh, he was the living son of God, I was talking about the son of God. I said there's a lot of sons of God, therefore I mentioned Adam. Now let's not deal to the side point and let's deal with the main point. Was Jesus referred to as any of these? If he was, show me one verse in the New Testament where he is. Well, one verse. Uh, Everlasting Father, Great Counselor, in, uh, Prince of Peace. In the New Testament, he called himself the everlasting father. Show me. In the book of Revelation. Should be a big contradiction. No, oh, that, that would not be a big Because he's not the father. But uh, let, find it. let's find it. Where it says uh, everlasting. But, but wait, one second, one second. Before you show me this, this doesn't deal with my point. Do you know why? I said where he will be called. 
Are you listening to me? Yes. No. But Let listen. Me go here. No, no. Before you read. Before you read. Why? Why? You can I tell you? What, can I tell you why? Because I know which verse you're going to. Can I? Can I? Can Can I answer? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. If I call myself the everlasting Father, that's not fulfilling the prophecy. You're not looking. You're not listening to me, unfortunately. Can you, let me tell me when you're ready, and I and I will explain my point. Revelation. Okay. Can I, can I make the point before you read? Yeah, go. Before you read, okay. Can you focus with me? Yeah. With me? Okay, thank you. If I say right now, I'm the everlasting father, I'm the prince of peace, that doesn't mean that the prophecy fulfilled me. Yes, but we believe that this book you don't. A step by step, you're not getting the point I'm making. I'm saying the prophecy says he will be called. He's not going to call himself. This is two different things. You're showing me Jesus calling himself. I want to see where he's called. The verse in 9, 6 says he shall be called by other people, meaning Prince of Peace, Wonderful Counsel, Everlasting yes. Father. Can, so, can you show me where he's called? The fact that he doesn't, uh, others doesn't call himself hmm. uh, with those titles, it doesn't mean that he is not. So we don't, we don't know the prophecies about him then? So let's, let's get, come back to my point. In Revelation chapter 1, I am Alpha and Omega, where is, the beginning Where is the Father? And the end. Where is I'm the Everlasting Father? Well, the one that made all things that, and that do you know first, all first things, and he is the, the creator, first, and this is Jesus. Do you know the difference between first and last and between everlasting? Do you know the difference between eternal? Well, a step, I, a step course, I know the difference between... Uh, well, I haven't even said even what I'm going to say. Look, be, be sincere and be honest with me now. Look. I'm honest. Okay, I'm can we come back to my point? Person. Yes, go. Back. All of this is irrelevant. My point was... What is, what is relevant? The relevant is what I said in the beginning. Jesus is not equal in knowledge. Unless you show me he's equal in knowledge. He's not, equal, he's not immortal. God is immortal. And Jesus was killed by his own creation. According to your belief. He was independent. I want you to show me where he's equal there. That, is that, if I say you are greater than me, are we equal? Well, you just said that he was killed by his own now, Leave creation. this point. If no, I say... Why, why, why do you want me to do Because yeah, you don't deal with I my agree. point. Because you don't deal he with my point. He was killed on the cross. He was crucified. No. Do you agree he, was, he, was, he, was, he didn't know as the Father knows? Do you agree he didn't know the hour like the Father knows the hour? Uh, you speak about the book of Matthew chapter 24. Not only that, no, 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 no. Mark 13, 32. Uh, but even, even it's both in Mark and Matthew. But let's, let's deal with the, with the issue. Do you accept that Jesus did not know the hour and the Father knew the hour? Well... Look, I, now we're going to we, no, no, no. be honest. Let okay. Me, let me think about okay, it. Okay, go ahead. No problem. Now, think about it. Hmm. Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ. I gave you and other Muslims today that, that verse, but you never accept anything you listen. About knowledge? About anything. Or you gonna About anything you listen. Would you, you say that about me? About almost. So I was not listening to you when we talk? Did I avoid Even though you listen, did you I avoid your you question? Keep them in mind. Okay, now now I you're saying something you else. Now you're judging me. I just told you many times okay. from the book of Philippians chapter mm. two that That's not Jesus. Who is this then? This is Paul, you don't know that? That he was talking about Jesus. So I'm saying where Jesus is talking about himself. Where did he say he's equal? Look, you're not. Do you remember my question? Is Jesus? Is a simple yes or no question? Is Jesus equal in knowledge with the Father? Uh, in in his actual state, yes, he is right now. So why did he lie by saying he doesn't know? Well, he was not yet glorified. So you agree he's lied? You agree he lied? No, he doesn't lie. So he didn't know. He was not yet glorified. He was in flesh. When he was on earth, was he, was he God? Yes. Okay. So as God, he didn't know. As God, he didn't know. Well, I gave you, I give you for the five, fifth time this scripture. Okay, you're not going to answer says, my question. Okay. Who I think, I think this, form of God, I think, this is God. I think like this is Paul. I think, I think we're not gonna, we're not gonna have a nice conversation if you don't answer my questions. I'll be honest with you. Just as completely, you do, completely. Just you asked me two questions about Islam. Why you don't accept Paul? I'll tell you why I don't accept, I don't accept Paul. Muhammad. Can I tell you why? Me, can I tell you why I don't can accept I, Paul? Can I tell you why? Yeah. Because I can say whatever I want about you. Unless you say this, I cannot know it for sure. Okay. Paul had a problem with, with Peter and had a problem with James. He was going around lying, telling people they don't have to follow the law. He got a problem with, only with Peter, not with James. Do you know the head of the... 
can I show you? I'll give you the, the, the scriptures if you can, want. Can I give you the scripture about James? The problems with James? Yeah. His problem was with, Paul, with Peter. Do you, know, the, the do you know the head of the apostolic, apostolic church was both James and Peter? And do you know the verse says all the elders were present when the problem happened? Now, let's not, let's, step by step, let me finish. I think you know the, the Bible better than I do. Look, you don't. I don't you, guarantee. don't you think you're being arrogant in saying no, something like this? No, because you I'm not claiming I know the, the Bible more than you. Did I ever claim this? Galatians chapter 2. I'm not talking about this. Do you see why? You're talking about something else. This is the only problem. No. Peter, uh, Paul got with If Peter. I showed you another problem, that means you don't know, that means I know more than you. Okay. And Can then, I show you another problem? Yeah, show me another problem. You agree you don't know? Show me another problem. Look, I'm not trying to show that you list. Can, can I speak? You just told me you, you sure, know sure. Let's have, me. We were having a nice conversation, right? Nice let's, conversation. let's continue having a nice conversation. I'm not trying to show that I know more than you, okay? So please focus with me before yeah, you look. I'm, you I'm look. Focused. You're thinking on the next question, the problem. You're not, you're not focusing with no, me. No, I just show you the problem that was uh, between yeah. Paul and Peter. Sure. Can we come Peter back? In this? Can we come back to what I'm saying? Yeah, go. I'm not referring to Galatians. I'm referring to Acts. I'm referring to a completely different issue. Paul was teaching the Jewish people, they don't have to follow the law. James and Peter, which is the head of the apostolic church at the time, had an issue with him. They told him, are you going around telling the people they don't need the law anymore? Go, shave your head, sacrifice, show the people. I will show you now. In the book of Acts. Can you allow me to finish my point, yes. please? Please. I can show you right now everything I'm saying in the Bible. I'm not making a claim. But before all of this, let's deal with my point. Let's not run away. Let's no, not, I'm not running away, okay. but you don't you to accept. You told me why I don't accept Paul. I was giving you my reasons, step by step. Well, can I tell you why I don't accept your prophet? Please. I don't want to offend you. No, you're not going to do it. Are you sure you that? I consider him the most biggest sinner ever walked over this planet. Okay, sure. A man that got, got married with a six years old girl mm -hmm. will never mm -hmm. be my prophet. Can I answer that? Can I answer that? Yes. Okay. Before answering that, I want to make a, a very important principle. Him making sins disqualifies, disqualifies him as a prophet. Oh, it disqualifies him as the biggest prophet that ever existed. Oh, do you know what the Quran says? No, I don't. All the prophets are, e are equal and we believe in all of them equally. So according to the... Our belief in prophets, belief-wise, we believe in all the prophets equally. Their status is what God puts their status how to be. How that sounds, please? Can I answer? Yes, but... Sure. Can I answer my point yeah. first? Because you need to understand my point clearly. Belief, we believe in all of them equally. Status is what God determines it to be. Now, coming back to what the Shahada. The one who would dedicate the Shahada in Islam, we say, we say by the way, that you, uh, some scholars say you have to say Ashadu an la ilaha illallah if you're Christian. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Ashadu anna Isa Rasulullah. Jesus. Oh, so you mentioned even Jesus. Do you know why? Do you know why? We can mention Moses, Abraham, Solomon. Do you know why? But if I don't, step by step, let me answer. If we don't believe in any of the prophets of God, we're not Muslims. Any. Okay, that's why I said in belief, they're equal. So I can clearly say that statement. I can say, Ashadu Allah, Allah. Ashadu Anna, I, I, I believe in all the prophets of Allah. I can say that. But coming back to my point, please. Coming yeah, back yeah. to my point. Okay. Sins do not disqualify you as a prophet. Do you agree? Or you want me to go to the Old Testament? No, no, no. no. Okay, go ahead. If you will allow because me you said why you don't believe is he's the sinner. That was your claim. If you allow me to develop my point, go ahead. we're going to have a very nice conversation. Are you saying I don't allow you to speak? No. I allow you to speak. Uh, prophets of God in the Old Testament. You just mentioned the Old Testament. No, I mentioned, my question was simple. Does sins disqualify you from being a prophet? I said that maybe four or five times. Please, clear answer, yes or no answer? Okay. Please. Yeah. We have examples in the Bible, in the Old Testament, because of one mistake, Moses was forbid to step into the promised land. Am I right or wrong? I don't agree with this, no. Is that? This that is, it, it, look, it, 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 you, you're not getting the point here, right? You're okay. talking about your faith. I'm asking a question now. What, you ask me. Moses done, done a the sin. Done a sin. Your point was Moses did a, did a sin. It stopped him from going to the promised land. Ask me again the question, please. Your question was, Moses made a sin. It stopped him from going to the promised land, right? God, God told him because of this sure, mistake, he sure. would not So, so land. did Moses commit a sin? Yes. It was he a prophet? Mistake, uh, was he a prophet? Yes, prophet, yes. So prophets can make mistakes. But the consequence of his sin, uh, 
uh, sure. didn't allow him to step in. No problem, no problem. This is what? Consequences are something. Now, now, look, you said to okay. me, look, coming Second. back to... Let me speak, right? Okay. You said to me, I'm, I'm calling you Aki now, look. 